Okay, so we're going to give you a quick brief guide to using your new center programmable room thermostat. So first of all, this is the actual unit itself. This comes with a stand or it can be wall mounted. In the standby screen here, what we can see is the current room temperature. So 23 degrees is quite warm, but I am holding the unit itself. Above that, we've got the current time. To activate any of the menus, simply press any of the buttons and these menus will now illuminate. So you've got three function buttons across the bottom and you've also got an up and down arrow to set different parameters or different temperatures on the side there. There's also a QR code which gives you a quick reference user guide and at the bottom here this is where the new batteries can be replaced when required. So moving left to right the first button here is menu. So if we press the menu button, this is where we can set the times and temperatures that we want the programmer to come on and come off at. We'll come back to that in a second. Next along, we've got auto and manual. So auto is where you set the times and temperatures on the left hand button here. If you have the programmer set to auto, the programmer will read off those times and temperatures. If you press it and move it across the manual, essentially manual is on or off. So manual there means it's on, set to a set temperature. On the right hand side, you've got a, an, on a power button essentially, you can turn the unit on and you can turn the unit back off again. So going back to selecting our times and temperatures on our schedule, this is done under the menu section. Press the menu button. We're now going to select program, so OK, which is the far right button. And then we're going to set Monday's schedule, so OK again. What you'll see here now is you've got P1, P2, P3 and P4. P1 is currently flashing. P1 is program 1. So what we're going to do here now is we're going to set program 1. Press OK and you'll, you'll notice that the temperature starts to flash. So in this instance, we're going to set the controller to come on at 6 a.m. in the morning, okay, and we want that controller to be telling the boiler or heating the house to 21 degrees. So 6 a.m., 21 degrees is our position one. Press okay, and that will save. Now you'll notice that position or program two is now flashing. And what we're saying here is at 9.30, we want the boiler to turn down to 15 degrees. To alter that, just press the OK button, move the time to the time you'd like to do it. And again, this would be P2 and P4 would be off positions. P1 and P3 would be on positions. So we turn the boiler on at 6 a.m. and we had it at 22 degrees. We're now saying at 10 a.m. we want to turn the boiler down to 15 degrees, so OK. We could even turn it lower, 13 degrees, just to keep the house tepid. Save that. Now we're saying P3 has come back on here, so we're saying OK. We, can, we want to adjust this now to come back on. Let's say we come home from work around 5 o'clock. So 1700, press OK. And we want the house to be 21 degrees at 1700. Press OK, that will save. And finally, P4, so this is us going to bed and what temperature the house is going to be between the program of P4 and P1. In this instance, we're going to bed at 11 o'clock and we've said 16 degrees. We might want to go to bed a little bit earlier, let's say 10 o'clock, I'll turn that heating off at 10 o'clock. OK, and because it's night time, we want the boiler to only come on if the temperature drops below 12 degrees. You can set this for your own preference, your own times and your own temperatures. Now if you wanted to, you could go through every day. Obviously this has now moved on to Tuesday. You've got seven day schedule. Alternatively, you could just press copy. So it's saying copy to day three. Okay. Save. Copy to day four. Okay. Copy to day five. Copy to day six. Now alternatively here, we may want to adjust day seven. It's Sunday, we want a different schedule for Sunday. That's quite easily done. Just press the back arrow. Sunday will appear because we're on day seven. 
And again, we can just move through the menu. So we want Sunday, six o'clock in the morning, 21 degrees. Work through the different parameters, P1, P2, P3 and P4. Save them as you go. Once this is all done, you'll actually be able to um, set the programmer then to be in auto mode and the auto mode will then abide by the schedule that you've set here. If you don't want to be on auto mode and you just want to use the programmer as an on and off switch because your habits change, you're in and out of the property all the time, that's not a problem. On the middle button here, move away from auto onto manual. What this is telling us right now is the temperature in the room, or because I'm holding the controller, is 25 degrees, but the set temperature is only 19 degrees, therefore the programmer has no reason to come on. We can simply adjust this by pressing the up and down arrows, and as we can see, the set temperature is starting to flash. If we increase the set temperature higher than the current room temperature, so in this instance 26.5 degrees, the controller will now call for heat and will turn the boiler on. If we set the temperature lower, the boiler will turn off. Some customers prefer to use the manual option as essentially you can just set the boiler to a nice comfortable temperature. It'll kick in, kick off all day and when you go to bed you can just turn it right down. Some customers prefer to use the automatic option. It gives them a program and they like a set schedule. If you're going away for a period of time or you're nipping out and you don't want to adjust the schedule, then simply just press the off button and the controller will turn off. So hopefully that was a useful guide in getting to know your new controller, how to set some times, temperatures and how to use it on manual mode. There are further instructions in the box and also you can scan the QR code for further useful user instructions.